M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to have a go at WinLink using the Yesu FT710. So we're going to try and set this up. So first thing you need to do is download the VARA, which is a virtual modem. So imagine it as it's like a, a phone or TNC unit um, on your computer. So just click that, run that. When you run that, it's just here at the top, you will end up with a program that looks like this. Okay. So this is your virtual modem and the settings, as far as I can see now, I haven't paid the extra to have all the, the full functionality. So we'll just go in with basics here. So VARA setup, click that. Now here you would normally put in a call sign, a registration key, but I haven't done that. So we'll just close that down. Then we'll go settings, sound card. And I do have my, the latest driver, which I will put a link in for the Yesu FT710. And I have a, the printer style lead connected to my computer and because of that it's allowed me to select if you look here micro usb audio device on the input and the output so that's great and as soon as i've done that it's showing straight away that i uh, i am connected and if i click the tune here you see it going to tx just check the power is not too high uh, we're just on five watts that's good then so you see it going to TX. Now you do need to keep your ALK settings quite low on this. And it does actually advise it here that you have it about one third of the way up when you click tune, but they're showing the picture there of an ICOM 7300 or possibly 705. So that's good. We understand that. So close that down. Now we're going to go to the WinLink side of things. So go to their page here, go to download. I'll put a link in for the description. Click user programs and then download the bottom one, WinLink Express install. And once you've done that, you will end up with this program that has like a purple and white checkered flag, which is what we're running here. Okay, so let's just have a look at our settings. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll exit them completely and I'll double click them from scratch. So double click purple and white and you get, this is the window you first see. And then we'll go to, now I did, we'll go to WinLink Express Setup. It has got my location details, but don't worry, I'm not, these aren't, uh, these are public, okay? So you get your call sign in here, my call sign, I've created a password. Then underneath, I've given my IO81, my call sign suffix is optional, but I basically given my country code, um, used for country code, okay? M0FXB, then it's further down, my grid square, service codes, public, address. So that's it, I pretty much just, it's, it's quite basic that part. So once you've got that bit in, if there's no errors, you just click update and it will just add that in. The next thing, this is the bit where I got confused, is you open a session. So you do select VARA WinLink first, because that's what I'm using, VARA HF WinLink. So look at all these different programs you can actually use with this WinLink Express. So I'm sure it's well worth the money you pay. But anyway, go down to VARA and I've done VARA HF, hey, okay? person to person, okay? Is it, um, let me think, no, I've, I've selected VARA HF WinLink. That's the one I've got. Then we'll go to settings. Let me just click, no, open session. Can you, you can see how I've literally just started using this. But it has connected. You hear, I heard my radio click there where it connected. Now the settings I've had to put in to get it to recognize me are on settings, radio setup, I've selected Yesu 991A, USB digital, and I did already put the radio in that, but it's found it. Comwise, if you've got the correct driver in, you just right click device manager and go to Com and then you'll show up Silicon Labs dual CP2105 USB to UART. Okay, that's the one that's correct. Close that down, and so you need to select that COM there, COM7. Now I did select PTT port optional, and I just put in that, but I'm not sure if I needed that. And it didn't actually start working until I have the had the board rate of 38400. Okay, that's when it, it suddenly came to life and started actually controlling the radio. And then once you select that, it automatically starts to do this, launching VRA TNT successfully connected via signal bandwidth using. And so that's 
that's how far I've got so far. The next thing we did was we selected. I'll just show you the ra the radio settings. So you go function. Actually, let's go back. You go in this case. I've used preset mode. So go mode. Hold my finger on preset. Now you can see it's on data USB. So do that again. And we'll start at the top with the setting that I didn't actually change anything, but anyway, preset name, it says FTA because that's what I've used. Uh, 3800 BPS. I haven't touched anything else at all, apart from the 3800. And at the bottom, mod source auto. And I haven't done anything else. But don't forget, I haven't sent any successful emails yet. Um, so... That's, that's where we are with that. Now, the next thing you do, I know this is all new to me as well. You select channel selection here at the top and this comes up and it, you need to update this because what it's doing somehow, it's checking which modems it thinks you've got a chance of contacting. So you can see all different frequencies there. I've got a nine to one Ballon 20 meter antenna in there. So let's just double click one of them. Like so, uh, the power is let's up it a bit to about 40 we're going to tune it so we're all tuned okay it's all tuned and we're going to do the channel selection again and then we're going to double click this one here if i double click that um and then we're going to click start and it, it puts the radio into transmit and it's trying to contact da5 udk okay now this is as far as i've got now as far as i know once we are in contact with or if we were able to communicate with da5 udk's modem it's at this point we could then think about sending him an email so this video is just about getting it to this point and I need to do some more work, working out it once I am connected and it, it probably won't connect. I need to check the ALC, what that's looking like as well. And it'll stop after a while, ALC. Just tap it, ALC. So let's just do another TX. It said failure to connect. Let's try another one. So we'll go channel selection, we'll choose another one. And then click start. Like so, ALC, it doesn't look too bad. Look, it's going up about a third of the way and that's fine. <clears throat> so let me know if you use this. Once I do get a connection and I want to send an email, I can watch a video, but it'd be nice for, to get a few messages. Now, I'm in HB9, that's way too far away from me anyway. So let's... I think there is a, a selection there to stop. Stop. There you go. We're going to stop that. And let's... Try the channel selection again. And let's have a look. Who's a bit nearer me? I want to find a station. I mean, the PA3 one. We, I never used that frequency, but let's try it. Start. Yeah, and it is showing quite a high SWR, so I think I'm not tuned for that antenna, so we better stop. Let's see if it will tune it. And it's showing... Let's just try it. So, like I said, I've never used this before. It is trying. There's no high SWR now. Now, should I be in LSB on this? Just noticing it saying LSB there. I was hoping it set that automatically for you. But it is calling. It's failing, but it's calling. Let's have a look what the actual scope shows, because you've got like a scope here. Or like a waterfall, there's nothing up here. But yeah, apparently you get this standard message to update. And look, we have got this little scopey thing here. 
What's that showing us? Oh. It's actually acting, it's actually saying we've connected. So, WinLink VARA connection. So how do we send him a message? That's the quest, that's the next thing. But it is working. We've got a good SWR, good ALC. PA3, yeah. Come on then. <laughs> I want to send you a message. Once I'm connected to him, can I send a message to anyone? So let's go new message. Well, I'm quite pleased that I managed to connect to him. Let's right click no. Move to red. Outbox. New message. Right, I'm going to watch a video. I'm going to post this video so you can see I have managed to get it to connect. And then I'm going to make another video showing you that I can uh, send an email to at least to myself. Bye for now, 7-3. Great fun. All the best.